Okoli asked agencies to pull transparency in its affairs for service delivery. Anambra State Government promises enhanced synergy with development partners for accelerated developments. NAFDAQ begins raid on bleaching outlets. U.S. South Korea sign new nuclear weapons deal. Before the news and detail, here is a special message. Governor Chukuma Salu has come for a total turnaround maintenance of the Anambra State economy and promotion of core Igbo values. Let us give him maximum support for the task ahead. Details of the news. I am Priska Wanko. Anambra State Government has reassured of an improved partnership with the development partners working in the state for enhanced social economic development of the state. The Anambra State Commissioner for Health, Dr. Afam Obidike, made this known when the United Nations Students Fund Emergency Manager County Representative Christiana Valderrama and her team visited Comprehensive Primary Health Care Center, Umwezanam, Anambra West Local Government Area. Correspondent Chibuzo Okoye tells us more. And her team, as well as other partners, visited the primary health care center, which supported the state government to rehabilitate after the 2022 flood menace that ravaged some local government areas in Anambra, including Anambra West, to see for themselves what has been done in the facility which they supported. Speaking during the visit, Dr. Obidiket thanked UNICEF and the other development partners in the state for their support to Governor Chukumasaludu administration and said that the state government has a lot of goodwill and mutual relationships with all the development partners. The health commissioner maintained that the development partners like transparency and that the state government is running an open administration, hence their continued support and promised that they will continue to work with them. Partnership we have with some uh, international agencies. You know, we started as soon as the governor, okay. governor has Zoom office. So we have a lot of uh, uh, with, uh, with them and uh, you can see the, the like uh, openness and uh, The UNICEF emergency country manager Val Drama expressed satisfaction with what she met on the ground at the facility and made it clear that they will continue to partner with the Anambra state government even as she urged the people of Anambra West to always make inputs that will help UNICEF to serve them better. See that the the health facility has been refurbished the, and I am happy to see the integrated approach in this facility. For the Transition Committee Chairman of Anambra West Local Government Area, Mr. Felix Ikechi, they are happy with the development and maintained that the gesture is one of their administration's models of Governor Saludo's private public community partnership and commended the Anambra State Government for providing an enabling environment that brought in the partner. Well, Anambra West are so excited. We are very happy. For a day like this, and I want to thank our partners, the UNICEF, for this wonderful work they've done. They were not doing it, so we're very happy. Since after the devastation of flood 2022, we all know the effect of that in the entire number of us. Speaking on behalf of the elders of the area, Obuedin Zedi Gwenwobi thanked the development partners and the state government for a job well done and appealed for the healthcare center to be upgraded to a new place because of constant flooding threatening the people of Anambra. West and their means of livelihood. The UNICEF Health Officer, Enugu Field Office, Dr. Ife Inwa Anyanyo, the Executive Secretary, Anambra State Primary Healthcare Development Agency, Pharmacist Chisum Uchem, represented by the Head of Department Immunization and Disease Control in the Agency, Dr. Namde Uliabafose, the Head of the Department of Planning, Research and Statistics in the Ministry of Health, Mrs. Edith Mwachu, among numerous others, were present during the visit from Umezanam in Anambra West Local Government area. This is Chibu Zoko here for ABS News. Vanambra Broadcasting Service, Sachido Obidiogu, has reiterated the commitments of the establishment to partner the National Orientation Agency, NOA, to achieve value reorientation and adequate publicity of government activities. Sachido made this known in his office when the executives of the agency paid him a familiarization visit. Our correspondent Joseph Obunse was there and filed in this report. The APS boss welcoming them to his office stressed the need for the agency to uphold its objectives in disseminating and handling government publicity programs. He thanked the agency for keeping abreast with the holistic programs of Governor Soludo's administration and urged them to come up with more publicity strategies that will aggressively sell the government's policies and programs to the citizens. 
the, the, the governor dreams that we have a, a, a state, you know, where people who easily want to leave, work, learn, relax, invest, and enjoy. And there's no way we can succeed in all these without partnering with NOA. Earlier, the leader of the delegation and acting state director of NOA, Sir Joseph Uchendo, said their visit was aimed at familiarizing themselves with the establishment and introducing the state's new executive officers, as well as devising means to partner with the ABS in some of their programs lined up in the state. Sir Uchendo further enumerated some of the objectives, which include working towards enthroning good governance, publicizing policies and activities of the government, working towards instilling value orientation and behavior modification of people, getting requisite feedback from the people to the government, and educating the masses on the direction of the government. During the COVID-19 we were there, there is the need to communicate risk communication at the community level. We did that. And presently, the issue of census, NOA is at the forefront with National Population Commission to make sure that we get our people's buy-in. There are also local peculiarities, and the agency must understand the local peculiarity in your area, in the local government, at the state level, and with all of them in the process of public enlightenment. In a vote of thanks, the PRO of the agency, Mr. Antonio Biora, thanked the ABS management for promising to give them the platform to disseminate information to the public. Presentation of a book titled NOA, State Mobilizer, to the MDABS formed the highlights. Anambra State Government says it is committed to creating a culture of accountability and transparency for service delivery in its agencies to guarantee the sustainable development of the state. The Accountant General of Anambra State, Dr. Chukuli Okoli, gave the assurance during a training workshop for principals and bosses of all the secondary schools in the state held at Igwebike Grammar School, Oka. Correspondent Chukwemeka Modelim filed on this report. Gathering, Dr. Okoli, accompanied by top officials of his office, explained that the essence of the meeting is to bring to their knowledge that the Soludo administration is committed to transparency and accountability in running the affairs of the state and wants to help every public office holder to do the same. The Accountant General emphasized the need for principals and bosses to always work in synergy to keep good records of all revenues being collected in their school for accountability's sake. He listed all the necessary books of accounts that bosses must keep, including cash books and vote books, among others, to encourage transparency and accountability. Declaring the workshop open, the Deputy Chairman of the Post-Primary School Service Commission, Dr. Nkiru Samuel, observed that Governor Soludo's investment in education is yielding the desired results as they are feeling the impact in secondary schools across the state and harped on the need for principals and bosses to always work together and remit government revenue as at when due to enable the government to provide more learning facilities in schools. She lauded Governor Soludo for his interventions in education, especially the recruitment of 5,000 teachers for public schools, which she said has filled the gap created by lack of quality teachers in the past. The workshop also featured question and answer session. The Commissioner of Police, Anambra State Command, C.P. Etching Etching, has on behalf of the Inspector General of Police, IGP, Usman Baba Alkali, presented checks worth 38 million naira, 362,722 naira, 67 kobo, to the 16 families of deceased police officers attached to the command. A release signed by the state's PPRO, VSP Ikenga Thochuku, explained that the gesture is an initiative of the IGP, Family Welfare Insurance Scheme, aimed at giving support to the family of police officers who died in active service. It is also aimed at spurring officers to greatness while discharging their statutory duties with the assurance that their welfare is of paramount importance to the leadership of the force. The commissioner of police, while presenting the checks to the beneficiaries, thanked the inspector general of police for his relentless efforts towards ensuring a good welfare package for personnel of the force and urged the beneficiaries to use the money wisely by investing in a profitable venture that will in turn alleviate the needs of the dependents left behind. 
He noted that in the last three months, this is the second time the command had received similar checks from the Inspector General of Police and it was presented to the beneficiaries. The Commissioner of Police also assures the Inspector General of Police that officers and men of the command will continue to put in their best to ensure peace, security and safety of Anambra State. The families thank the Inspector General of Police and pledge to make good use of the money. National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control, NAFTAC, has commenced the raid on bleaching outlets in the six geopolitical zones of the country. According to the Director General of NAFDAQ, Professor Mojishala Adeye, there is no health benefit to the procurement and use of bleaching creams. Adeye disclosed this during the North Zonal Media Sensitization Workshop on the dangers of bleaching creams and regulatory control in Meduguri, Bruno State. Represented by the Director of Chemical Evaluation and Research, Dr. Leonard Omobara, the DG said, they are taking stringent regulatory actions to stem the dangerous side of rampant and pervasive cases of using bleaching creams. The Archbishop Ecclesiastical Province of the Niger and Anglican Bishop of Oka Diocese, Most Reverend Alexander Ibezim, has called on the federal government to create a conducive and serene environment for the actualization of an accurate and reliable census in the country. Speaking in an interview with the ABS on the forthcoming national population and housing census in Nigerian nation, Most Reverend Ibezim stressed the need for proper enlightenment and sensitization to be given to the people to ensure that they are well abreast with the importance of headcounts and the development of any nation. Most Reverend Ibezim describes census as a key to sustainable development, advocated for adequate preparations for the national population and housing census, expressing fear that organizing census in a hurry will be counterproductive. The head of the Anglican Church in Anambra State called on various churches, groups and corporate organizations to see the forthcoming national population and housing census as a national assignment which will determine the future of the country. Most Reverend E. Beijing regretted the indifferent attitude of many Nigerians towards national programs due to lack of confidence in government activities and called on the federal government to use next month's national population and housing census to build more confidence in the policy. He called on people not to be deterred by a series of challenges facing the Nigerian nation, reminding them of the need to anchor their faith and believe in God, expressing optimism that a country will someday come out from the challenges it is passing through. Most of any Beijing urged the citizenry to always remember those in leadership positions in their prayers to enable them to deliver in their mandate. On a fast approaching Workers' Day celebration stated for May 1st, most of any Beijing called on governments at different levels to map out far-reaching measures that motivate the workers to enhance productivity. The U.S. and South Korea have secured a landmark deal to counter the North Korean nuclear threat. Washington has agreed to periodically deploy U.S. nuclear-armed submarines to South Korea and involve SEAL in its nuclear planning operations. In return, South Korea has agreed to not develop its own nuclear weapons. Concern has been rising on both sides about the nuclear threat posed by North Korea. U.S. President Joe Biden said that the Washington Declaration will strengthen the Allies' cooperation in deterring a North Korean attack. Former Aston Villa captain Gabriel Abonleho has hit out at Chelsea's decision to appoint former Paris Saint-Germain's head coach Mauricio Pochettino as the new permanent manager. Chelsea have been on the hunt for a full-time manager since sacking Graham Porter earlier this month. Following Porter's sacking, Chelsea appointed Frank Lampard as an interim manager until the end of the season. Lampard has lost five matches in a row since taking over the Stamford Bridge Club. However, according to Football Insider, Pochettino has reached an agreement with Chelsea to become their new manager and he's said to be joined by his former PSG and Tottenham assistant Jesus Perez and Tony Jimenez in June. Remember that for more on these and other stories, you can watch ABS and Fuller News and Program on ABS from any part of the world by liking our Facebook page at Edinburgh Broadcasting Service. Subscribe to our YouTube page at youtube.com forward slash ABS television or can follow us on Instagram at ABS Radio TV. Log on to our website, it's www.absradiotv.com. To end the news this morning, a recap of the main points. 
Adam Brusty, the Council General, Okoli, has asked the agencies to support transparency in its affairs for service delivery. Adam Brusty government has promised enhanced synergy with development partners for accelerated developments. NAFDAQ has begun a raid on bleaching outlets. U.S. South Korea has signed a new nuclear weapons deal. Governor Chukwu Masaludo has come for a total turnaround maintenance of the Anambra State economy and promotion of core Igbo values. Let us give him maximum support for the task ahead. This ends the news at 7 right here on ABS Television. Thanks for watching. I am Priska Wanko. Good morning.